Got another Rivals of Ixalan pre-release pack. I don't know why they call them packs. I just don't get it. They're kits, right? They're kits. Can we agree? Like a Kit Kat bar? They're kits. Everyone calls them kits, but for some apparent reason. Uh, Watsy labels them pre-release pack. No, see, this is a pack, all right? This is a kit because inside of it, you get certain things that create a deck, which formulates to be a kit. It's amazing. I know. I know how I come up with this stuff. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, I know. It is. All right. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. We're starting things off with a tender shoot dread. I can never say that right. Dryad? Dryad. Dread. Dr Madrid. 13, 14, January 2018. There you go. It is an Ascent card. It certainly is. If you control 10 or more permanents, you get the City's Blessing. Not a big fan of that. I just don't... Uh, I want to know how many people in pre-release uh, tournaments actually were able to pull off the uh, City's Blessing. I'm curious. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. Saplings you control get plus 2, plus 2, as long as you have the City's Blessing. That could be destructive, but uh, too slow. Too slow. Maybe if it was a 3-drop... It'd be playable. In modern, at least. I don't know. I always think about modern. I always go back to modern. What could run in modern? Definitely not that card. Can we get an 8? 11. One of these days, Billy. One of these days. We are going to get that number we call out. All right. Let's see what we get. Rivals of the Ixalan. We'll start with that last. Let's go to the old stuff. Good old Ixalan booster pack. Hopefully pull something that's just ridiculous and uh, makes the uh, the panties moist. All right, we'll see what we get here. Uh, let's go a little slower so I can see what I would build if I if I were to construct this. We got a dinosaur. Got an instant target reader gets plus two plus two and don't have vampire against first round. Ooh. Desperate castaways, fire shrine keeper, prosperous pirates, blossom dread, untap target land. Destroy target creature. Create two colors. Oh, wow. For five. You're going to create that, though. The Blinding Fog. Paladin of the Bloodstained. Let's get into the uncommons. Gilded Sentinel. Rallying Roar. Roar. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Untap them. <coughs> Merfolk. River Sneak can't be blocked. Whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, River Sneak gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Not bad, not bad, not bad. A Savage Stamper. Spell Swindle, all up in it. Counter target spell, create X colors treasure artifact tokens where X is that spell's converted mana cost. They have. Tap it, sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. That could be devastating down the road. And we have an island. A glorious island. Another pack, Ixalan. Let's see what's up in here. Come on, baby. Dual shot. Whenever I hear dual shot, I think grape shot. Completely different card, though, of course. We all know this. Dual shot. Dealing one damage to each of up to two target creatures. Very limited play there. Legion Conquistador. Mark of the Vampire. Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has a lifelink. Lifelink something. Frenzied Raptor. Pirate's Prize. Exiles. Divina. Unfriendly Fire. Ritual of Rejuvenation. You gain four life, draw a card. Why not? Cancel. Gotta have the cancel. Colossal Dreadmaw. It's a 6-6 six, six Dino with Trample. That's something. I remember back in the day, they would have, uh, what was it, back in like Legends? They would have like a 4-7 card that was like 8 mana to bring out and it did nothing. Or they'd, ha they'd even have a 6-6, six, six, I think. Maybe a 5-5 five, five, and it was like 7 to bring out, but it did nothing. But it was a Legend. Nonetheless, the whole banding thing, I thought they they were going to take off with that and just never did. Belligerent Brontodon. Dude's always drunk. No one understands why. I think the belligerent Brontodon is the one on the bottom there. He's, he's, just, he's just drunk. There he is. Don't be like him, kids. Slice and Twain. Dark Nourishment. Fell Flagship. Pirates you control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever fell the flagship deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Flipper. Nope. Probably not. Man, I was way off. So maybe we can so far, uh, maybe pumping some uh, merfolks up in here. 
Pumping merfolks up into the deck. One second. <clears throat> all right. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All is well. All is well. All is well. The mailman arrived. He wanted to know if uh, if I would like my uh, my pancakes frozen, and I told him, yeah, give me some frozen pancakes. Okay. Sun colored raptor. We might even roll with uh, dinos in this one. We'd probably, yeah, it's looking, ah, the merfolks, the merfolks. Can't be blocked by dinosaurs. River darter. Destroy target creature with flying. Good old plummet. Horsey. Dust charger gets plus two, plus two, as long as you have the city's blessing. Yikes. Steep cost at bay. Excellent. Exultant sky marcher. We all thought I was going to butcher that, and we almost did. You were almost all right. Destroy target artifact. Shatter, good old staple of back in the day. Tulanali's crown. Tulanali's. Dead eye, rig hola. Enter the unknown. Target creature you control explores. You may play an additional land this turn. All right. Attacking power you control get plus two, plus zero. That is legit. That is a very strong card. If we had two of those, I would say we're definitely we're probably going to go for pirates. If we had two. I don't think we have two. Pirates pillage. As an additional cost to cast Pirate's Pillage, discard a card, draw two cards, and create two colorless treasure artifact tokens with tap. Sacrifice this artifact. They have a man of any color to Legit. Ooh, we got a Foil Seafloor Oracle. That is legit right there. They just put it right up front and center for us. That means we have a flip in the end here. Whenever a Merfolk you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Whoa there, lady. Whoa there. Nice foil, though. Holy crap. And a journey to eternity. Nice. Nice. Uh, enchant creature you control. When enchanted creature dies, return to the battlefield under your control. Then return journey to eternity to the battlefield transformed under your control. Whoosh. Add so cave of eternity. Add one man of any color to your mana pool, which is pretty freaking dope. For five, return target creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. Oof, black and green. Man, I don't know. That's a really good card to have uh, out in this little uh, limited play here. So maybe we'd go, ugh, no, because we want the blue. So we'd probably end up doing black, green, and splashing in blue, maybe? I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, and when I start thinking, things start getting crazy. Let's see what else we got up in here. Fanatical Firebrand, Suncrested Pteradon, uh, Sailor of Means, Hunt the Weak, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control, then the creature fights target creature you don't control, Vampire Revenant, the vamp's up in here with the flying, Guilt Grove Stalker, do all vampires have flying? I mean, they really should. Guilt Grove Stalker can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Evolving Wilds is good. Bombard, Luminous Bonds. Sworn Guardian. It's hard to say what we'd end up doing with this deck. Sky Marcher, Asp, Aspirant. I'm just kidding. Uh, Aspirant. I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's got the city's blessing. Um, it has flying as long as you have the city's blessing. Ugh. Yeah, about that. Swift Warden. When Swift Warden enters the battlefield, target Merfolk you control gains hex proof until end of turn. Not bad. Followed by a Stormfleet Sprinter. Stormfleet Splinter can't be blocked. Human Pirate. Really hard to say what we're going to roll with this. I don't know. Sunny's Blessing. Uh, whenever blah, 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 Summoner attacks, you may pay X and a Mountain. If you do, create X11 one, one red elemental creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. At the beginning of your next end step, exile those tokens unless you have the City's Blessing. That could be, uh, that could be, pretty, that could be pretty destructive. City's Blessing again. I don't know. There she blows. There she blows right there, guys. There she blows all up in your face. How you guys doing uh, over this weekend? It's been blistering cold outside. Destroy target attacking your blocking creature. Not bad. Um, for those of you who have gone to the tournament, I'm curious to know, how are you performing? How did you do? Are you going to more? Please let me know. So maybe we would go green... What was that other... What was that one? Green and... Uh, Black and green? Uh, maybe. Maybe. No, probably want to run the blue. Probably green, black, and I splash blue up in this deck. 
Draw two cards, you'll see last thing, draw three cards. Whoa. Probably blue, uh, green, black, and blue. I don't think we're going to be seeing red much in this. Maybe. Forerunner of the Legion, Vampire Knight. Legit. Jungle Creeper. <coughs> Ooh, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to Everdon Champion. <coughs> Human Soldier. There's blue again. Flash this puppy into play. When crafty, uh, cut purse. Well, we got a little, uh, a little ding right above the R there. I don't know if you guys can see that. If I hold it steady, do you see it now? Do you see it now? I do. Enters the battlefield. Each token uh, that would be created under an opponent's control this turn is created under your control instead. That could be fun. That could be fun. A little bit of control action there. Last pack to crack, Captain. What's it going to be? Are we going to get something just stupid as hell? Probably not. We already got a rare. This feels very thick. Uh, most likely we have a flipper in here. Two flips and one is pretty freaking gnarly. Flood of Recollection. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Flood of Recollection. Cacophodon. That card's just all types of bold print. Whenever, uh, man, they, the quality went down. I, I hate to say it, but it really did. Um, it dealt damage on tap target permanent. Baffling end. That's a cool looking card. When Baffling End enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls with converted mana cost three or less. When Baffling End leaves the battlefield, target op opponent creates a 3 3 green dinosaur creature token with trample. We didn't, did we not get a flipper? We did not get a flipper. It felt heavy though. Dead Man's Chest. Enchant creature and opponent controls. When enchanted creature dies, exile cards equal to its power from the top of its owner's library. You may cast non line cards from among them as long as they remain exiled. And you may spend mana as though it were. Mana of any type to cast those spells. Yeah, we definitely want to run black, uh, green, and uh, and blue for damn sure. So we would create some kind of mess concoction with those three colors up in here. And we would uh, hopefully pulverize the opponent. A, a decent, uh, I'd say it's pretty decent, maybe a little bit above decent for a pre-release kit. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, peace, love, and uh, we'll see you next time. Whoa, we are crooked.